N T R. <laughs> NTR. That's a little bit on the nose, but yes, episode five of Machine, really fantastic episode, just all around a really fun episode, just a lot of silliness. But I have to admit, I'm not liking where this is going. I really, really don't like where this is going. It's obvious this guy is not cheating on Asamu, Asagumo Chihaya. Chihaya is easier to say. I'm going to go with first name basis here. He's obviously not cheating on her. And the reason why this scares me is because the direction I think it's going is that Lemon's helping Ayano find a gift for her. And I think Lemon is enjoying it as a date, whereas Ayano is just trying to get a gift. And I think where that's going to blow up in everybody's face is that, yes, we're going to confront this whole situation. I I'm assuming that uh, Kazukiko is probably going to dance around the subject. And eventually it's going to come out that, hey, are you cheating on him? Which I, I think it's a good question mark. Chihaya is making a good question mark. They're obviously in love. They obviously love each other. They're childhood friends. They've known each other for a long time. Ayano really wanted her. He never, it, he never got it because he didn't think he was good enough. And now you know, I've taken him. And how it's going to blow up is he's going to go, I love you. I'm going out with you. I was just getting you a gift. And then over here, Lemon's going to be like, yeah, that's what we were doing. And it's going to, you're going to see that pain. <laughs> you just know you're going to see that pain in Lemon's face that she's like, I mean, it, it, it hints at it. That earlier in the episode, they have this point which she's getting dressed and she puts her hairpin and goes, wait, do you not normally wear that whenever you do practice? And she's like, no, I usually do, but I just polished it. The girl was ready for this date date. I'm calling it a date. For her, it was a date. She was getting ready for this moment that she'd be able to go out with Ayano, and she was getting ready for it by polishing her pin. She was going on a date. This was her last chance to grab him, and, and I really do feel like she's not giving up, and there could be a chance that she's trying to see if she can still win his heart before it goes too far with Chihaya. And again, that's e equally as painful because they're already going out together, and it's almost like she's trying to take him. It is her trying to take back her boy. And that's what really sucks with the whole situation. Anyways, let's get into the episode proper. Rather than me jumping around everywhere. But yes, opening up the episode with God, you being super excited. Well, no, first it opens up with him flagging literally the rest of his summer vacation. He's like, yeah, this is the rest of the summer vacation. I'm going to enjoy this book, which was... Anyways, anyone who says I'm flat chested needs to, be step, needs to step in a pile of dog poop. Great title, by the way. Him flagging, basically saying that I'm going to enjoy the rest of my vacation just reading a book. And then everything has to come up. We have to have this whole situation with NTR, this whole situation with the, the book club itself, a literature club. All this stuff has to suddenly come up out of nowhere just to make sure he's busy for the rest of his summer vacation. Anyways, yes, sister being super excited. Like, the sister in this entire episode was fantastic. Just her, like, literally wanting to interview <laughs> Yanami. <laughs> like, oh, yay, we got to interview her. Make sure she's a good fit for you. And the entire time she's there trying to write down notes, like, okay, so what is your family situation? You know, this... <laughs> And then later on, literally going, ooh, so who's that text? Oh, you're just friends? That's where it starts. Everything. And then, like, later on, having this whole moment where she's with her friend, her friend's like, she's like, I feel like my brother's going away for, to a very far away, <laughs> to a very far away place. And she's like, don't worry, you could be my bride. But I want brother. <laughs> we finally get an indication that this girl so badly is trying to get her brother set up with people and friends that, no, she really doesn't want to lose him. So, there. <laughs> We're going to get some more sister stuff in here. But yeah, apparently Yanami's father got paid in, in Soman, 2,000 USD worth of Soman. And she's literally, like, feels like she's eating a whole bunch of it. She enjoys it later on. She says that she enjoys it, but she's getting, cal she's getting like, fat. <laughs> she doesn't want to admit it, but she's getting fat. I do get a massive kick out of it. Yes, having the sister there literally trying to interview her, like, she's a potential, like, love interest. And then, yes, Yanami pointing out the fact that she calls him uh, Onisama. <laughs> And then, like, when they all get texts, when they both get texts at the same time, the sister lights up. And it's like this little subtle indication that she's acknowledging the fact that he's in a group chat. <laughs> so she's all happy about that. I love it. Now, after this, we get a random scene where he bumps into the Gyaru, the Gyaru from the student council. She's apparently dehydrated and passing out in front of the vending machine. So she makes him have to <laughs> give her water. And all the girls are walking. The girls are walking by and see this whole scene where he's literally having to feed it to her. He's like, "What? Where? What is this situation?" <laughs> this dude finds himself in the most inappropriate, weird situations, and every single time, it's fantastic. But now, this is a little weird because when she gets up and goes to leave, she says, "Thank you for saving me," and then she says something to the effect of, "Is it true that Koto and uh, Tamaki are dating?" And then she has like this very brief. 
I don't know what it is. It does it. it I think it's an, a a sad face. Like she's upset about it, or is she just kind of curious, or maybe upset that they found love before her? It was a very curious face. I I really wasn't sure what I was getting from that face. I mean, besides the fact that obviously uh, <laughs> Kazuhiko is like a little bit disturbed by it, but it was kind of one of those question mark faces. Like, is she? upset about it. I don't know. It was it was a weird face. It was almost like a, I don't know, maybe she's possibly jealous or maybe she was pining for Komari to get Tamaki. Very, very interesting little situation. But now after this, we get the assignment that they're supposed to make a book and then going right into the reunion party for, <laughs> for Yonami. <laughs> she has her friends getting together to introduce everybody and she's literally like, no, I'll be perfectly fine. I have found enlightenment. I have this book. I found enlightenment. When your friends find happiness, it's good for you. And it's two friends. So obviously I'm super happy. <laughs> nope. Doesn't work out. Kazuhiko runs into Ayano. Again, this is where it kind of indicates to me that it's probably not a situation of Ayano, you know, cheating on her. And it's the fact that, yes, he has this bracelet that he got from uh, Chihaya. And he's super happy. Well, it's humble bragging, as he puts it, which I like the fact that Kazuhiko's like, it's kind of refreshing for once to have somebody humble bragging about a good thing about a relationship rather than everybody that's around me getting dumped. But again, the, the fact that they put this here kind of indicates to me that he just got a gift from her. So it implies to me that he's going to want to get a, get a gift for her right afterwards. And that's why I think he's probably taking Lemon out is to find a gift for her. Because right after this, that we get the indication that, yeah, Lemon is secretly doing something but there's something that she's interested in or she's going after the scene after this is komari and and kazuhiko it, it, i'm sorry for some reason i'm feeling these two more than anybody i mean yes obviously yanami seems to be like the perfect pairing for kazuhiko like every scene they're in it's super flirty it's super like close and whatnot like these two have like this very special bond and yes it's partly because there's this whole the after effects of a breakup or not a breakup but being dumped and the the closest that comes from them kind of communicating to each other. But still, like, every little scene with Komari, it's like, she's so cute. And it feels like she's always blushing. It's like, gosh, thing this girl, this girl, I kind of root for her. Like, hey, if you like Kazuhiko, please go, girl, be happy. <laughs> but I know there's an indication in this scene that I could almost ship Lemon with Komari. Because, yes, she gets a text from <laughs> Lemon. And she's like, yeah, she keeps asking me to go out and run with her. And it's all your fault. But I kind of like it. I, I like the fact that she lets me set the pace. She gives me piggybacks to back whenever I'm tired. She likes it. She doesn't like to say no in a lot of situations with people. That seems to be her her difficulty is that she she doesn't know how to tell, express herself and say no. That's too far. She just gives in. And she, But she's still enjoying being with Lemon. So it's like it's, it's a cute little thing. Despite the fact that she did this in order to have Kazuhiko and Yanami have a brief moment together. And it got wrapped up in this whole running situation with Lemon. She likes it. She likes having a friend. <laughs> but no, he has to make some comment about that being like a trope in dirty magazines. He's like, you got to give me the details. That's like a that's a character trait in dirty magazines is somebody that can't say no. But no, that's when we get the, the tanned goddess scene. Yeah. <laughs> Kazuhiko walking into the literature club and seeing the glowing light that is the tanned goddess. <laughs> Oh, the light behind it and him thinking that she's stark naked, but no, she's got her tracksuits underneath. I I still like that fact that it, it's this goofy little conundrum where it's still her dressing herself, even though she has her tracksuit underneath it, it still creates the same thing for boys. It's like one of those things like, girl, you don't realize it's the same thing for us. <laughs> like, no matter what you're doing there, no matter what you have underneath there, if you have a tracksuit underneath your skirt and you go to lift up your skirt, it's the same effect. It does the same thing to boys. It's like the whole thing with 2.5 dimensional seduction. It's like she keeps saying about how she's got cosplay underwear and it's like, it's still the same thing, girl. It is kind of funny in this scene where he runs into Lemon again, she's like, you know, it's okay. I, I'm in my, I have something underneath it. Stop, stop overreacting. Again, notes the fact that she polished the, the pin. And additionally, he also notes that, oh, that's how you put the ribbons on. Yes, I've not really talked about it much in my impression videos, but yes, th there is an oddity about the fact that this school uniform, the females have like a million freaking ribbons. <laughs> It's like, this is a thing that some people are stuck on. I don't know why. It hasn't even phased me. Like, I, I didn't even realize it until people pointed it out. It just, I'm used to very unique school uniforms. But yeah, I can see that. It's odd that they have, like, four ribbons on. And right here, it's almost like the the author, or maybe even the studio, if it's not in the actual source material, it's almost like them acknowledging it. He's saying, oh, so that's how she puts on the ribbon. It's like one of those... Yeah, technically you question that. Is it like one per... I would assume they're clips and they go in between each of the buttons. But again, 
never even phased me. But yeah, she rushes off, obviously, again, probably very excited to go out to a date with Ayano. And then Kazuhiko thinks that he's going to go on a date with Yanami. He gets super excited going out to a cafe with her, only for her to be complaining about the whole meet together. I love how he's like, so wait, are they like super flirty with each other and super grabby? He's like, no, they never do that stuff in public. It's all this other stuff. It's the fact that she cleans up the table after he gets up. It's the fact that he holds her back. It's the subtle things. These two are literally like <laughs> thirsty newlyweds or something like that. They're in heat. <laughs> It's totally an aspect of Yanami almost kind of drawing too much out of the thing. Like, she wants to see it. I think that's really what it is. It's not so much that they're purposely in her face about their relationship. It's that Yanami is looking for it. She wants to find it, and it upsets her when she finds it. It's almost a sad reality. But yeah, they see Lemon and Ayano, and immediately goes to cheating. <laughs> He's like, no, they've been they've been childhood friends for a long time. It, it can't be cheating. It's almost like you going out to hang out with Sosuke. That wouldn't be cheating, right? That's totally cheating. <laughs> that face from my Yanami is like, no, it's cheating. Now, this is funny because they go out there and then, yes, they end up running into Chihaya. Chihaya, they end up going back to his place for some reason where they get, get that whole situation with the tapestry. But it's so funny that Yanami wants to help Chihaya. Now, she says something to the effect later on that if she does want to go for this, we have to be there to support her. But we also have to be there to yell at her if she does something wrong. It is kind of the bull thing. As a friend, you're supposed to both support and correct your friends. We're the ones that have to do that. We're the ones that have that responsibility. But yes, the entire time I was kind of questioning, Yanami should like this idea. Because again, her whole thing is that there's two types of people. There's the childhood friends and the thieving Nekos. And so you would think that she'd be rooting for a limit on the sidelines. Like, yeah, go get him, girl. But man, Chihaya's forehead, like they just got, they just went all in on her forehead. I don't even think they did that before when we first met her. But for some reason, like every shot of her has to have this massive gleaming forehead. I like how later on when she's disguising herself, she puts on a pad on there. Like, yeah, I gotta, gotta cover up my most unique feature, which is my massive forehead that's shiny. But no, I love the whole scene in, in the room is like why do we have to come here and sure enough i like how chihaya even says you're supposed to ignore that you see it it's rude to point it out like just just you're supposed to act like you don't see it but no yanami's like what is this thing is this made of cloth why are these two girls like barely even clothed that's not underwear that's that's their battle uniforms then why are they show so much skins it's there's lore to it there's lore. why are they on the bed together oh my gosh somebody just take me out now and then sure enough the sister comes in and wings like totally best wingman sister explaining the lore to try to explain it to them obviously the sister's probably outside the room listening to him literally getting grilled over the fact that he has this lewd tapestry <laughs> And the sister's like, I got to save the situation. He's got a potential girlfriend in there and some other girl. I got to fix the situation. She walks in there, literally spreads out the lore and spoils the story for him. But uh, come on, dude. Kazuhiko, she's literally saving your butt. Take the spoiler. Take the spoiler. You know it's not that big of a spoiler. It's it's so good. It is so good. But though there's a part of me that kind of wonders if she's lying about the whole thing of why they have to be in bed together. Like they have to connect for the Sigma something, the Sigma drive. And he's like, that's a spoiler. I haven't read that far. I wonder if it's not a spoiler. It's just that she's making up stuff to explain why they're in bed together. But no, this is like one of the heartbreaking aspects again, because it's Chiaya saying why she's following them. Yes, I was I was following them. The main reason why, because she knows that Lemon and him are childhood friends. And she knows that Ayano likes her. He knows that Ayano likes Lemon. And so for her perspective is she's like, I feel like I've stolen him away from her. And I want him to be happy. I love him so much that I want him to be happy. So obviously... I wanted to follow them and yes, catch them if they were cheating. But if this is what he wants, she wants to step out. She just wants to see if this is really love. So it's like a mixture of like, yes, it's almost like she wants to catch them and say, I caught you. But at the same time, she wants this for him. I guess, yes, it's true that if you're just dragging me along, I want to catch that and stop it and just let you go. I just don't want to sit here and be dragged along for it. It's heartbreaking. Again, this is just the, the crappy thing with the whole love triangle. And yes, I really, really like Yanami's, with, with the Magane and the braids, super cute. But yes, they follow each other around. They see Ayano smiling. Chihaya runs off. I Again, another heartbreaking moment in here with the aspect of Chihaya kind of seeing that, yes, they are seemingly happy together. And that she kind of is jealous about how forward Lemon is. Whenever she's with Ayano, she's always trying to make sure that she does things that won't upset him. He doesn't like sweets. I don't go to sweets place with him. Here I heart, right here. Lemon's just going to the sweets place with him. She doesn't seem to care. Like she's just doing all this stuff with him and he's happy. It, it, yeah, it is kind of heartbreaking. She's trying to do everything she can in order to appease him. 
but she's never doing anything to kind of push back on him. She's never doing anything that she wants to do. I think that is sort of a, a good thing for her to realize right here. Like despite all this stuff, and again, I'm assuming it's just he's going out with Lemon in order to find a gift for Chihaya. Again, I don't think this dude's cheating on him. If they go that route, that'd be super shocking. <laughs> you just don't typically get that unless it's a, a really nasty character in the story. Um, and I don't think that that's what they've kind of painted Ayano as so far. But I think this is a good awakening for Chihaya in that she's seeing how forward Lemon is and how much she's pushing back. And yeah, even Kazuhiko there to kind of state, yeah, just go do this. He's not the type that's going to get angry if you want to go to a sweets place. He's going to go along with it. It's not going to bother him that much. But it is also kind of showing how much Chihaya is observant of Ayano. She knows what he likes. She knows what he doesn't like. She knows what he's going after. It fits me. I like, I'm excited to see that he's getting into books and all this kind of stuff. It, it's a cool little moment there. But yes, they get caught. They run into the changing room. <laughs> and then she points out, I'm gonna let him explain. <laughs> it's so to this story. It's like every single time something super bad happens, I'm gonna let Kasahiko explain it. Like he just, just throw him into the situation. He's just there as a, as a side person, but no, I'm gonna throw him right in front of the bullet. He's gonna explain the situation. And yes, the t-shirt being country and NTR. Nice little touch, but super goofy, goofy episode. Really, really enjoyed it. My heart's going to break. I know, again, I my assumption for the next episode is they're going to go in somewhere. Um, you're going to have Kazuhiko kind of dance around it for a little bit. Then suddenly, maybe Chihaya is just kind of blurted out. Like, just, okay, this is what's going on. Uh, stop beating around the bush. And again, I think what's going to really kind of be a heartbreak here is that Lemon is going to be on the sidelines going, yeah, we were just going to get a gift. And it's going to show very obvious in her face that she's pained, that she probably was enjoying this as a date, even though she fully well knows that she's just helping Ayano get a gift for Chihaya. And that's what's going to be a sad aspect of that whole thing. Because again, I don't think Lemon's given up. She's she's definitely not given up at this point. I mean, even Yanami's pointing that out. Her face, it's a face of somebody that has not given up. I see it in her face. She's wanting to get Ayano. And it's just just not going to work. I just, unfortunately, it's not going to... I don't know. Maybe it'll surprise me. Maybe it'll turn into a, a thing of Ayano saying, you know, look, I, I couldn't give up Lemon. I, I just can't th stop thinking about her. And at that point, it, it, it does beg the question of for Lemon, would she... I mean, she's already going after Ayano. She's still going after him. But it does beg the question of if Ayano is willing to leave Chihaya, who she's currently going out with, to go back to Lemon... Would Lemon be okay with that because he's essentially cheating on <laughs> his actual girlfriend right now? But again, it's not as if they're technically cheating yet. They're just, they're going shopping together. It doesn't mean cheating, but the intention is still there. It's a massive question mark. We'll see where it goes. I don't think it's going to go that route, but who knows? They might surprise me. Anyways, that was a lot to talk about with this episode. Really good episode. Really enjoyed it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. For all those that keep watching all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys' support as always. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. Comment. Let me know the episode. I just if you're new here, make sure to subscribe before you leave. If you like this content and you want to support channel more, I have links in the description below. Greatly appreciate it, but it does. And until next time, y'all take care. And don't NTR.